In this video, I will walk you through the end of year process in the Shireburn Financial Manager. Before running the end of year process, you need to have exclusive use of SFM. No one else should be using the same system as you during this time. The first thing you need to do is allocate unallocated entries for clients and suppliers. We have another video to show you how to make these allocations. Check it out now if you're new to this practice in SFM. You should also check if you have any entries in your SFM gateway. To check for this, navigate to Previous Year, Utilities, and then click on Import Gateway. When everything is settled, we can run the end of year process. Here, SFM will move your current year data into the previous year. Remember that SFM allows you to post into two financial years simultaneously, so you will be able to post into the new year, while other authorized users, or yourself, can continue posting in the previous year. I'll explain more on that later in the video. The end of year option is found in Current Year, Utilities. If this option is disabled for you, you will need to enable a permission to allow you to run the end of year. You can do this by going to Administration and Groups and Permissions. Find your user account and add the end of year permission to that account. Now we are ready to run the end of year process. SFM does a number of things for me automatically, including taking a backup of my current system and several validation checks. Another validation check involves the status of your profit and loss account. If you have an opening balance in the profit and loss account, the system will halt the end of your process and ask if you want to transfer this balance to your retained earnings account. You can tell SFM to automatically post this journal by clicking OK in the Year Profit and Loss Control pop-up. Of course, you can choose to cancel the end of your routine if you want to check into this account further on your own. However, this will require you to restart the end of your wizard again. Continuing onward, SFM will run through a great number of tasks on your behalf, including transferring the current year nominal ledger data to the previous year, calculating the opening balances for the new financial year, and updating the previous year figures, appending all debtors and creditors data from current year to the archive, resetting year to date and updating previous year turnover figures for debtors and creditors, clearing all the sales and purchases allocated entries from the current year, and updating the accounting period for the new financial year. When this is all complete, the system will remove the end of year function permission before finally running a re-index. After SFM re-indexes your system, the end of the year process is complete. At a later time, when postings in the previous year are made, SFM will make the Update Opening Entries function available to you, allowing you to update opening entries in the current year. Finally, when you are ready to close off the previous year for good, you can run the finalized utility for the previous year. This will move the balance of the previous year's profit and loss to earnings in the current year. Thanks for watching this tutorial video for SFM. We have FAQs and help articles for you to consult in the link to this video below. We'll see you next time.